grew up in the the territory here. When I was 16 and 17, I studied with elders with Aboriginal art. Humans are highly visual animals and we focus on physical, tangible things in front of us. Okay? So when you do the artwork, you're focusing your intent into this physical thing. If you're in tune with some indigenous artwork, you feel the energy come out of the artwork. So you might see something which you don't think is beautiful, but if you're in tune, you might, t you, you might feel the energy coming out of this. That's because the artist put a lot of intent, so he's singing into the artwork. It's like a prayer in the artwork. Symbols are not just a geometry, they can be the animals or whatever, can symbolize something. You can see when they symbolize um, different energies, different types of energies, they have a spirit for this energy. Because energy is spirit, spirit is energy. Okay? You can have the symbols with all their meanings and then you also have the stories which are symbols that are put together. You know, there's things that will show you where people are eating, where where to find food like honey ant and stuff like this and these are all in the stories in the dot art. The art style itself is educational with the x-ray art style because when you count how many vertebrae in the fish or the kangaroo or the whatever, you, you look at that animal and you see that's how many vertebrae that particular animal has. Scientists can tell which one they painted because uh, they're, they've all got different detail you know, that's specific to the animal. So they're very observant. So when they're doing the art, it's so that they can remember the story. Because the same when you someone writes a book. You know, it's written down. They didn't have a written language, but they can put the story in the art. Art is a part of language. There's an oral language, there's no written language, but artwork is like a written language. All different cultures with no contact before modernization, they all got the same, but different. When you have a pattern and everybody's saying the same thing, you can refer to this type of thing as a maybe a universal truth. see the rainbow serpent stories and the rainbow serpent is in a waterway or in a hill or whatever this is telling you the energy there is too hot wrong frequency for your bioelectromagnetic body if it's in the waterway they'll never go in the water there if it's in the hill they won't use this area or maybe certain people who know how to use it certain frequency can go there for a short time but they won't take children there it's not a sit down place things like modern technology harness certain frequencies like x-rays and microwaves and high voltage power lines and things you can see all of these 
the same thing. And in the earth, there are some frequencies that are too strong for humans, and you don't sit on these places. They make you sick. It's simple. It's logical. The early religious people from other countries that came here, they made the mistake of thinking it was a deity or a god. It's not. It's just it's simply a symbol of physical energy. And even today, many people don't understand this. Thank you.